Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, or Spyro Year of the Dragon. Today we'll be going to Cloud Spires. Technically level 2 of this world, but the first level we can get 100% on. So there's our 400 gems. Now there are a lot of eggs to collect in this game, so be on the lookout. So here we have... 400 gems and turn on the cloud generator. Mm. So I believe each world gets more gems. So world one is four, then five, then six, and then seven. Or maybe it stays six or just goes to eight. But I think that's how it works. Now enemies in this game, instead of giving you life force, give you gems just like the very first game for those who have watched it on my other channel. I will be playing the original on this channel at some point. Probably not for a long time because I just beat it on my other channel a while ago and I really don't want to do it again. But anyways, let's talk to this little fairy thing. The have shut down our cloud generator, and I'll never see a rainbow again. Well, that's sad, Nimbus. So all I have to do is push these buttons and then get the uh, generators going, or the bellows, I believe. And she'll just tell you how to glide, so don't bother. Now for these enemies with the sh metal shields, I kind of like shine you cannot flame them so you have to charge into them same mechanic as it's always been in other Spyro games Spyro 2 and 3 also had it so well, I mean Spyro 1 2 and 3 I'll have it so you know it's not a unique concept not anymore it was unique when it first came out it still is to this game because you know there's not very many games where you play as a dragon Oh, and Zoe will just tell you about the fact that, you know, you can't flame them. Some enemies with shields, though, you can flame from behind, which was clearly noticeable in my Spiral 2 LP, if you guys ever watched that. And Moneybags does show up in this level as well, so be on the lookout for him. He's a fat, greedy bear who wants all of your money in. Hey, this Rhinox got a uh, egg. And these guys can't hurt you, they just blow you away, so... First egg, Stephanie. Stephanie Myers. Oh, that was a fast egg. Like, literally just popped out and then disappeared. Oh, man, all this money is mine, fools. All of it. Mmm, yummy gems. I don't know, I always have a bad habit of missing one single gem here. Like, every damn time, just one gem. Don't know why. It just happens. Probably because I always rush things. Though the music is very fitting for this level, you know? Like the whole... Sounds like it's, it's a mechanical cloud level. Which is exactly what this is. Oh, hey, money bags. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon. The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. Why do you have to be such a greedy dick? Here's your 200 gems. Ooh, yes, precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. You're a dick, money bags. I want revenge one of these days. Pow! Right in the kisser. One of these days, man. We're gonna get revenge on that greedy fat bear. Boom. Can I knock you off the cliff? Oh, Hunter's advice. Don't really need Hunter's advice. I don't even know how he knows about gliding. We had to learn it ourselves back in the original Dragon Kingdom. And how? when did they come with us to the Dragon Kingdom? You know, there's no evidence that... Hunter ever came with us to the Dragon Kingdoms. Neither did Zoe. They just all of a sudden appeared. Because, like, Alora and the Professor and stuff stayed behind. So it's like, what the hell, man? Man, why do they run away from me? Can you stop charging? I think it's because I have my controller plugged in. So it's a little weird. It gets like that from time to time. But anyways, let's talk to her. Oh, you activated the bellows? Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. Well, let's see if you can. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clock up the cloud generator. Wow, an egg in the cloud generator. That is just evil. We have Henry V. 
Hey, Henry. Their goal is to actually get them to leave the level. Because you need them to get to the next world. There are only four worlds in this game, but it does technically beat how many worlds are actually in the second game. Like, Spyro 1 had the most worlds, Spyro 2 had the least worlds, and Spyro 3 has the, just in the middle. Give me that little bird. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but it's, it's weird and deserves to be eaten. It's all that matters. See, five minutes in and we've already beaten an entire level, it's just now we have to do all the collecting of stuff. We should have, what, 600 gems? Yeah, because we lost 200, so, yeah, 600 gems. Man, that was just bad on my part. My skills have waned. I need to hone my skills some more. Sorry, I kind of have, like, a hiccup there. Don't know why I had a hiccup, but I just did. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, I think we got everything. So now our mission here is what we have to do is we have to push this button and get the sun seed to the middle. He'll take different paths each time because you have to do it three times and you just have to flame them to keep them hot. That's the first one. Got a little picture down in the bottom right corner is really weird, like how like fast moving it is. It's like, huh. and this one goes far. Yeah, and challenges don't have stars in this game, you know, like difficulty one, difficulty two. There we go, now we just got one more to go. Yeah, I'll beat this level in under ten minutes, I assume. Or at least close to ten minutes, which means then we can get the Sheila level done in this episode before we end it off. Boom. I'll probably play one of the Spyro Game Boy games after this, but here we go. Like, not right after it, but soon. Now, fuse my sun seeds. Make me a giant sun. Oh, it's so majestic and derpy. Now that's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it is, might be a dud, though. Is, is your name Cumulus? Aha, uh -huh. no, it's Cumulus, but still. We have Lulu from Lululemon. Boink. Goodbye, Lulu. I think we got all the gems in here, so let's leave. Now, our next goal is to take this whirlwind up to another little bonus area. These are, like, where you can find eggs and stuff. They're, like, little challenge portals. Instead of just doing it in the main level, they decided to split the levels into pieces like that. Yes, and the Return of the Thieves. Ah, oh, God, Thieves. Reminds me of Attack of the Rhinox in the Weird Thief level. It was a good game. It was very annoying, though, and I don't really want to play it anytime soon, but... I'll have to play it sometime down the road, because I plan to play every Spyro game ever made. There we go! That egg is ours. And it is Brian Griffin! Okay, no, it's more like Brian Adams. Because it's spelt the wrong way to be Brian Griffin. Brian is both an I, not a Y. Okay, now, let's see. Do we have any missing things up here? Oh, up there. To get up there, we're going to need this winged ability. So, give... Yes, we have to kill the spirits, I know. All these gems, thank you very much. Now... Now, let's go do it. These are those spirits that possess those weird Buddha statues in Colossus, you know? God damn it, man. Can't believe I missed I missed that second one. As long as they don't come back. Good, they don't come back. Wake the cloud. Okay, but though Belfry looks more like Belfry, but Jake! Jake the dog! Now, let's just go around and scope to make sure we don't have any missing gems, because, you know, we don't want anything missing. I'm pretty sure that was just a... Nope, that was a gem, not a bird. Gem, not a bird. Okay, I think we got everything else, so let's just leave. 
Aw, oh, that was lame. Let's go down the hole. Too bad you don't come through it like that. Like, smash! And now what we have to do is we have to go back to the beginning. Well, not the beginning. Back to the... The middle, I guess. This way? Yeah, we need to go over here. Because now that we have the bellows activated, we now have this whirlwind. Which goes to a secret spot over here that a lot of people don't remember. If you're a spiral master like I am, well, you gotta do that. You gotta remember everything. Ah, that was beautiful. That was perfect. Game lags a little bit when there's more than two enemies on screen. Well, at least... No! I'm not dying today, game. Oh, God, what the hell was that? <laughs> Charged right off the ledge. The metal, ar the metal armor on these non-existent enemies. <laughs> I don't know, these whirlwinds aren't activating like they should be. But me bum-rushing things sometimes backfires. Normally it does backfire. That's my issue with Call of Duty. You can't sit still, so I'm like, can't snipe. But then when I do sit still in a Call of Duty game other than Black Ops 3, I always get killed. So it's like, I'm not going to do that either. I'm just going to run around and attempt to get kills. I mean, I have some epic update videos pretty soon on that game. Because there's a lot of interesting stuff coming out soon. No! We forgot a 5 somewhere! God fucking damn it, this always happens. Thanks, Claire, from uh, Modern Family. You don't look like a woman, though. God, I really wish I had my ability. If I look up here carefully for sparkles... Hmm... Nothing there. Anything over here? Nothing over here. Gotta look every little which way now, you know? Alright, nothing there. I don't think there could be anything behind here. No. Kinda figured there wasn't gonna be anything back there. Maybe it's back at the beginning. I don't know, I always seem to do this. I always seem to lose 1-5 here. And it's just weird. Just got a notification from... Oh, a weird thing saying love quizzes? I do, but not Call of Duty quizzes. Because, like, I don't know the campaigns off by heart. Though I will be playing some of the campaigns for you guys eventually. Down the road, you know? Where does this whirlwind lead me to? Oh, over here. Well, that was generous of you to bring me back up here. But I don't know if what I need is up here. Hmm. Without the ability to look around, it's kind of annoying. Well, you know, look for gems. So you become so reliant on it in Spiral 2 if you know that it's an actual thing. It's just like a little hidden secret in that game though. It wasn't actually like an unlockable ability or a cheat. Like there are cheats in the game where you could literally, you know, like push a certain button combination and do stuff like that. I still have to do that on this channel, like the, uh, the cheats. Uh, so you guys can expect bonus content for Let's Plays to come a little later than the actual Let's Play, obviously. Spiral 2's been done for, what, a month now? You know, I got that one. I made sure I got that one. Got that one. Pretty sure I'd miss it here, eh? Not there. Not there! Maybe I didn't miss it here. Because I don't think it can be up top on anything. No, it can't be, so... What I missed is back in the goddamn level. Guys, this is exactly why I hate this game sometimes. Like, I find it an awesome game, but it's just, just annoying sometimes. Wait a minute, maybe I... No, I thought maybe I missed it there, but no, I didn't. No, I did not miss it here either, so... The only chance that I missed it was back up on, this plat on these platforms here. Wait, wait, what was that down there? 
No, it's just a goddamn bird. Don't do that to me, little bird. So yeah, because the only platform up here, or only land, is right there. And I'm pretty sure I'm not missing it here. No, I'm not. So that means I'm missing it in the new area. The part that we just unlocked. Don't go right through that, man. Gotta, like, look everywhere now, you know? There's definitely gonna be some editing in this episode. Yowza! Huh. What the hell is it? Hmm. I don't see any sparkling. See, that's the thing. I don't see any... Whoa, don't leave the level yet there, buddy. You know, that's the Sun Seed Challenge. I don't think it's in the Sun Seed Challenge. Oh, wait, what was that down there? Anything down there? No. Nothing at all. So, what is going on here, man? Okay, so... Let me get to a high point. And scope out this area. Hmm. Not there. Not there. Not there either. I'm like just expecting there to be like one little hidden basket or something vase that I didn't notice, but I really don't think now, we're not going to get another level done in this episode because of my own stupidity, but next episode we'll be able to get another level done. And No, why are you going... <sighs> Breathe. So my girlfriend tells me when I get angry. Just breathe. Just breathe it, breathe it, breathe it. <laughs> Don't tell me it's over here again. No, see, it's never in the spot that I normally leave it behind. That's what my issue with it is this time. No! Please, let me back on it. How come you guys can do that yourselves? Like, literally, none of the enemies were actually, you know, stopping you from doing this. That's the funny thing. Hey, a one-up from that bird. Alright, let's check out this way then. Maybe it's in this building. Wait, no, this this one's very uh, cramped. Right? Okay, nothing on this. Nothing down there on the stairs. Nothing over there. I know that. Nothing where the enemy was. Nothing over there either. See, this is what's really weird. Probably just have to end the episode and then find the gem for the next episode, but it's just so weird. Remember. Remember Hunter's advice. Okay, she doesn't actually say Hunter's advice, but it's pretty much Hunter's advice, you know? The only one that check is this one. Nothing here. I know for a fact it's not up there. Then where the fudge sickles is it?
Come on, cheats, work for me! Okay, not cheats, unlockables. Can you have unlocked earlier in the game, man? Man, see, look, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Oh my god, I knew it was one of those. Anyways, guys, in the next episode, we will be going to Sheila's level. Jeez Louise, that was bad. Still got lots of Call of Duty recording to do today, so without further ado, I'll leave you guys to watch me fly through this portal. Through this portal. 400 gems. Finally.